Hi everyone, my name is Lee and today I'll be demonstrating on how you can integrate single sign-on with Office 365 using Okta. So first, let me close out of my video camera so you guys can see my entire screen. As you can see, I'm already in my Okta uh, dashboard. And let's head over to applications. Make sure you're in an admin account. And then click on Browse App Catalog. If you don't see Office 365, feel free to type it in up here. And then just, just click on it. Click on Add Integration. And then leave this how it is for the first one. For Microsoft Tenant Name, head over to Azure. Click on Microsoft Enter ID, which is the new name for Azure. In the overview section next to Tenant ID, you will find it. Just copy it. Head back to Okta and paste it. Down below, you will see uh, different applications that you can select on select from. In this case, I'm going to select a couple of them. All right, and once everything is completed, just hit go ahead and click on next. Now in this page, make sure you select user sets username and password for the sign-up methods, unless your company, your project says otherwise. Now below in credential details, select email. And then for password reveal, check this as well. And then click on done. All right, now let's head over and assign it to a group. In this case, I only have one group, which is everyone, as you can see. So just click on Assign. You select the group that you would like to assign it to and click on Done. Now, one of my employees' name is Tony Stark. So let's head over to a new browser. Let's pretend that we're Tony Stark, okay? Let's click on Next and let's log in. And there we go. Here are all the applications that we integrated in single sign-on for Office 365. Now let's head over, let's say that Tony wants to access his email. He will click on it. He will need to authenticate first. And then click on sign in. And it should redirect them to his email. There we go. Now for some reason in the trial version of Okta, if you don't refresh the page, it makes you authenticate again. So what you wanna do is just do a quick like refresh and then select the other ones. There you go. And same thing for Excel. In a few seconds, it should redirect you to Excel and also to Word Online. Oh, Word Online and Excel. There you go. All right, and we're all good to go. And that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, if you try to perform this lab at home or in, in a project and you're having any issues with it, feel free to leave a comment down below. And I will try my very best to respond to every single one of you guys. Thank you.